when it comes to this coin, there's no need to settle for anything less than top quality. Take, for example, this superb gem with its vibrant mint luster, graded as MS67 by PCGS. It recently sold for $119 on May 7, 2024. It's a testament to the enduring allure of these historic coins, even in such excellent condition. If you enjoyed learning about these fascinating coins, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more numismatic content, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or questions. Your support helps us keep creating these engaging videos. This might look like a pocket change coin that's been accidentally damaged, but it's actually a mint error known as a broadstruck obverse indent. Graded mint state 66 red by NGC, this 1998 Lincoln cent broadstruck obverse indent error is quite unique. Broadstruck indicates that the coin wasn't properly aligned with the dies during striking, spreading out the design. The obverse indent part means there's also an indentation on the front of the coin, likely caused by another planchette not fully ejecting before the next strike. This fascinating error coin sold for $139 at Heritage Auctions, showcasing the allure of mint errors to collectors. Here we have a fascinating coin, a 1943 S. Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchette, graded AU55 by PCGS. AU stands for about uncirculated on the coin grading scale. In 1943, cents were typically struck on zinc-plated steel planchettes, giving them a gray color distinct from the usual brown to red shades of Lincoln cents. However, this 1943 S cent is a wrong planchette mint error, struck on a silver dime planchette, giving it a unique golden brown toning. Despite minimal circulation wear, some parts of the coin are lightly brought up. Additionally, it appears to have been struck slightly off-center towards 2 o'clock, as evidenced by the partial lettering of trust and the wider obverse rim near 8 o'clock. This exceptional coin was sold for $3,840 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting the rarity and appeal of mint errors to collectors. The 1927 P-Cent is quite common in fully red gem condition, although the population drops rapidly above the grade of MS-66 RD. While some coins may exhibit less than full strikes, this, this is not a major concern for the 1927 P-Cent, and collectors should aim for a sharp impression. A minor double die obverse variety is known for this date. While not especially distinctive, the scarcity of such varieties for this decade has made it a desirable addition for collectors. This particular 1927 S Lincoln cent was graded mint state 64 plus red by PCGS and was further approved by CAC. In numismatics, a CHAKE sticker indicates approval by Certified Acceptance Corporation, a company that evaluates and verifies the quality and grade of coins already graded by major third-party grading services like PCGS or NGC. This rare gem recently sold for $7,593.75, including the buyer's fee, showcasing its value to collectors. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1955 Double Die Lincoln Cent is arguably the most famous double die coin in the Lincoln Cent series and possibly even in all of numismatics. The 1955 double dies came about when the mint struck a working hub and a working die together, both slightly rotated differently from one another. As a result, this working die received a doubled die impression and subsequently struck thousands of 1955 double die cents. After these coins were produced, they were mixed in with millions of regular circulation strike cents from the same year. However, some mint employees caught some of the 1955 double die cents before they could enter circulation. The mint then decided that it was not worth the effort to melt down millions of cents to retrieve the approximately 20,000 double die cents that were accidentally produced. Since the 1955 double dies were being discovered in the same year they were released, many coins were set aside and preserved. This led to most coins existing in AU grades or higher. Initially, the estimated number of existing 1955 double die cents was between 20,000 to 24,000 coins. However, many coins likely entered circulation, and the actual number of surviving examples may be closer to 10,000 to 15,000 examples in all grades combined. 
The 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse was graded as MS64 Plus Red by PCGS and later confirmed by Cass C. Uh, it recently fetched $22,500 in May 2024 at a great collections auction, highlighting its immense value and importance in numismatic history. It's truly remarkable. This 1998 Lincoln Scent recently fetched over $5,000 at a great collections auction. But this isn't your average scent. It's a rare proof specimen graded in the highest achievable grade of PR70 with deep cameo characteristics. The S mint mark indicates that this coin was issued at the San Francisco branch of the mint. What sets this coin apart is its deep cameo finish, which refers to the striking contrast between the raised design elements like Lincoln's portrait and the lettering and the mirrored background of the coin. Coins with a deep cameo finish display a strong frosted appearance on the raised parts and a deep reflective surface in the background, creating a stunning visual effect. A grade of PR70 deep cameo signifies that this coin is in perfect condition, showcasing the highest level of detail and contrast. Coins like these are highly sought after by collectors for their beauty and rarity, particularly in the Lincoln Scent series. In the world of numismatics, the allure of rare and valuable coins often tempts collectors to part with their treasures. However, when it comes to Lincoln Scents, especially those that have fetched impressive sums at auctions, it's crucial to resist the urge to spend them. These coins are not just tokens of currency, they are pieces of history, artifacts that connect us to the past and tell stories of a bygone era. The recent auctions have showcased some truly remarkable Lincoln scents. These coins, with their unique features and historical significance, are not just valuable in monetary terms. They are also valuable in the context of preserving our numismatic heritage. So if you're lucky enough to have one of these rare Lincoln scents in your collection, hold on to it. Cherish it as a piece of history a tangible link to the past that deserves to be preserved for future generations.